Damon Hetter has come out on top both times, but this is the first meeting in a final. Hetter just beat Gerwin Price, a real 96. storming comeback from 3-1 behind to rattle off six straight legs. And you commentated on Van Dijvenboda's win here over Boris Kritschmar. I mean, the stats 96. look like it was a, yeah, it was a, a more serene Chris, passage yeah. for him. And just to show that I, too, have been doing some research, I don't want to be usurped and humiliated by you, Chris, but it's tomorrow will be a year to the day since uh, Hetta beat Van Dijvenboda in Barnsley, I think, in one of the victories you've just mentioned, 6-3, I think, in the Players' Championship 96. of 2021. It could be almost a happy anniversary. Yes. A reunion meeting. 128. I doubt that the players are aware of any of that kind of stuff. I mean, sometimes they know that they've got a good record or a bad record, but generally it's not a forensic analysis, 31. is it? Well, they just turn up and throw the dart. Hetter had only ever beaten Price once before, and Price had won nine meetings against him, and he's the man standing here in the final, not yeah. the Iceman. One hundred melted in the heat. Yes. There's the first of what do we expect to be quite a few maximums in this match. Thirty-five. Right, ninety-eight then for an early break. If you've got three darts, use them. And he Game does. Shot. Could have gone 60 for 38. Went an alternative route, culminating on double 16. And it's a break. And just for a bit of fun, Rod, you did mention earlier on that Damon Hetter uses a, a nickname that's an anagram of his own name. Yes. We did task our countdown master, Kirk Bevans, to, to do something similar for Dirk van Dijvenboda. I'm afraid Kirk came up dry, ladies and gentlemen. Old kinky verbs himself. Yeah, all I heard was a mumbling, no, I don't think I can do that. 40. Very poor, that, from a man of his calibre. Yeah, homework. We've got a couple more days. 93. Well, this pair have been doing pretty well with the numbers in this tournament, though Hetta uncharacteristically hasn't hauled a massive amount of maximums. In fact, Van Dijvenboda has scored more than twice as many in the lead-up to this final, 23 to Damon's 11. 95. Ninety-six. Ninety-seven. Well, he knows he's going to get a go at that 120. 100. It's an unsuccessful attempt, and so Damon Hetter to break back in the second leg. 18, I think, yes, for the double 16. 90 oh, close. Six is a finisher gets talked about a lot now because a lot of players make it difficult for themselves, and that's what Dirk's done. But he does have a clear target. Game shot. And in hitting it, he has a clear lead, two legs. Ninety-six wins against Scott Marsh, Luke Woodhouse, Jan Van Veen, Danny Nopper, Damian Moll, and Boris Kritschmar to get here. One hundred and forty for Dirk Van Dijvenboda. Ninety-three. Hetter will not panic here, Chris, because as you said, he was well adrift early doors against Gerwin Price, wasn't he? Yeah, 100. very good performance. And then came roaring back. Without Price really dropping his level either, Price was averaging around that 100, 101 mark for 
the majority of that match. 100. Also put in a very eye-catching display earlier today against James Wade, did Heta. A 106 average in a 6-1 demolition of the machine. And Dirk hasn't quite gone berserk in opening up this two-leg lead here, but he might do now. Not to be. So 112 for Hetter, having missed a dart for the 110 to win the previous leg. He's not going to get a dart at double here, and Van Dijvenbode is going to get three if he needs them for three nothing. 56. Looks like an absolutely perfect guide, but now he has to go to double nine, the tricky 27. switch, as we call it, and that's why. Tops it is. Double ten. 36. It should now be 3 0. Another two darts at double here for Van Dyven Bode. Squanders one, squanders both Seven. of them. That's five darts at double missed in this leg. Mm, it's a lukewarm start to this final. From what we've seen so far from the pair, kind of unexpectedly so. Game shot. But the heat, he's in the match. So taking advantage of all those misses from his opponent. 93. The Dutchman is three ranking points, ranking spot, should I say, above his Australian opponent, 16 to 19. 140. Stay as it is, I think, at the end of this tournament. There's not much leeway for them to make inroads on the players just above them on the list, although Hetter can go very close to Ratajski, who's one above him. I know some. People watching this prefer sort of form rankings 81. and actual order of merit, and Hetter would be right at the top of that pile at the moment, having won 15 of his last 16 matches. A very impressive run. And that included that victory in Gibraltar, where he again came back 60. from seemingly being beaten in the semi finals to Michael Van Gerwen before winning a scrappy end encounter in the decider against Peter Wright. Nothing scrappy about that from DVD. One hundred. They had trouble here before. Well, again, it looks like a decent guide, but he got no help last time, and now he's planted two outside. Game shot. Finally goes in and leads 3 1. Well, there's a lot of coulda, woulda, shoulda in darts, but it could have been 4 0, couldn't it? 134. Yeah, and often when you talk to players, it should have been 4 0. They forget that actually hitting the double is part of the game. Just because you're on a double doesn't mean you should have won the leg. Ninety-six. Oh, Hetter had pulled clear after six here, but one hundred and twenty-three will be on his shoulder. He'll probably go downstairs here, Damon. 271. If he fills up the treble 19, he'll leave 100. He won't do that. 58. One hundred and forty. Got to come out of there now, hasn't he? Surely. Does not want to leave 30. 177. He does want to leave 36. 
as Dan Dawson reveled in reminding me in the semi-final, he's a man who bust 180. When he 91. was en route to that victory on the Euro Tour at the weekend. Game shot. No trouble for him on double 18. One hundred and eighty. No surprise. One of those players that once the first one goes in, you can almost call the full house. Well, he's having a little chat to himself 99. there, Dirk. Really wants to wrestle back a, a bigger advantage. He did lead two nil and three one, so still has that that break advantage. But as Rod just suggested, he might be feeling like it should be even bigger. 134. Should switch. 137. Well, possible 11 dart leg here if we discount the possibility of a direct attempt at the bullseye. Well, I tell you what, there's been a little bit of a a trend of going for 60. this of late. Yeah, I mean it, it does happen, but. It's a final, he doesn't want to be made to look foolish. 34. But he's not finished it anyway. And he's got plenty of time, so if anything, any time is the time to go straight for the ball, maybe that was it, Chris. That's does that make sound. Yeah, you, you do look daft if you don't hit Game it. Game shot. You look like a genius if you do. Fine line, isn't there, between genius and insanity. Well, worst ways up, if you miss the ball with your first dart going for 50, you're going to get another dart at double, aren't you? Yeah. Barring something ridiculous, like missing a big number. Max again? No, not this time. 135. If you miss the single 18, going for that to leave double 16, there's always a danger of busting the 50. Mm. 140. I wonder if a few players may be listening in the hotel rooms having... Played earlier today, just been talked into going for the bull when you leave 50 in future. 135. I think more likely they'd be sitting there thinking, what are those two fools talking <laughs> about? 180. Levin letting his darts do the talking. And this is a habit he has, he just won't go away. Damon Hatter in any match. We've seen it a couple of times. We 64. saw it in the semi final. We saw it in the semi final in Gibraltar. 24 left. Double six. 69. Plenty of decent stuff in this game, and the standard seems to be starting to rise, but nothing incredibly 57. explosive yet, and Van Dijvenbode can't find it there. So to keep on... Game shot. Biting at the ankles of his opponent. Damon Hetter lands double six, and the gap is but a single leg again. Yeah. And a little ironically given his nickname, he's a very cool customer, Damon Hetter, isn't he? 75. Oh Never seems to be in a flap, does he? No matter what he's doing or what the scoreline is. Yeah, he'd be a decent poker player. Yeah, I think if you just showed a picture of him throwing a still photograph and asked what's the score, he'd struggle to guess it. Yeah, it's not... Is he winning or losing? I don't think he'd really guess it. It's not Robert Thornton, is it? 57. You get those players who wear their feelings on their face. Damon Hitter just carries on. No change in the demeanour. 100. Dirk, a bit more of an animated Arrow Smith. And he's a bit of a stop-start type player as well. One hundred and fifteen. He reached, I remember him reaching that World Grand Prix final. One hundred and twenty. Simon Whitlock in the semi-final decided it would be a good idea to try and slow him down. I think it's a wrong player to employ that tactic against because yeah. rhythm doesn't really matter to him. Sixty. Was well, he hurt himself there? Just felt his elbow after releasing the last dart. And keep an eye on that because he's in a good position in the match, but Hetter might be about to strike here. 
89. 52 when he returns to break and go level and effectively take control of the contest. 98. Well, here we go then. No problem with the big number. No problem with Game the double. Show. Halfway through the match, really, and four apiece. And that's why it's worth sticking around, as Damon does. Now he's level, and soon he might be in front for the first time. And I do want to keep an eye on Dirk van Dijvenbode here after throwing his final dart, because he certainly held his elbow a couple of visits 46. ago. 46. One hundred and forty. <laughs> Fifty-nine. Just dried up a little bit for Dirk. Well, I don't know how he feels in his arm or his head at the moment, Dirk van Dijven. Ninety-seven. But it would be a worry if there is an injury, particularly at this time of the season. Sixty. Yeah, it has dried up, Chris. You're quite right. Well, it's the demeanour as well. From uh, suddenly, it's for all this match, and he's stalking 59. around like a beaten man. One hundred. And he'll be behind here if Hetta takes out one hundred and eight. This will be a good dart. Yeah, it will be. And he, it was very difficult, wasn't it, to conjure it over there, over the defensive wall, if you will. 92. Next best thing. 100. He looks a little bit surprised about the way that dart landed. I think it flicked off the flight. Getter now on top and in the lead. 5-4. Which means it's three successive legs 100. for Damon Hetter. He's in the lead and playing the better darts at this moment in time. Well, he could do exactly what he did in the semi final here and win the last six. 137. To win the match, and it would see him take the title. It would be his fourth. 134. PDC title of the year, including that. Brilliant World Cup of Darts win with Simon Whitlock. 110 Ten years on from Australia's famous defeat in probably the most thrilling final that we've witnessed in, well, not just the World Cup, but most TV tournaments. Yeah, was a, that was an epic, wasn't it? And the victory this year for Hester and Whitlock will go down as an epic in their mind, and it really was a superb performance, wasn't it? This is a superb performance from Damon Hetter. He's averaged now north of a hundred. Again. Exasperation. Ninety-two. Well, for further punishment and for further pain. Double. Sixteen. Game shot. Well, he's really on song now. The heat is on fire. And as you rightly pointed out, you can't tell the difference by looking at his face. If you freeze frame the game at 3-1 behind to now at 6-4 up, but you can really tell the difference on that of Dirk van Dijvenbode. Yeah, well, that's it all. The, the, the full BAFTA award-winning reaction to that disappointment. 134. And Hetter just continues to make him suffer by piling on the big scores. 40. Uh, the best point of the match for Dirk van Dijvenbode was 40 up. He's now likely to go 7 4 behind. A run of five successive legs for the Australian if he converts that 93. And he may have six darts at it. 
94. He has got six darts at it. 36 left. This is Game superb. Shot. Yeah, this it's almost a, a mirror of the semi-final run that Hetta produced. And I said to Dan Dawson during that semi-final, because he's not a particularly rapid player, he's not one of the slowest by any stretch of the imagination, but he's by no means a speedster. It's easy not to recognise the little bursts that he goes yes, on. Yes, yes. I mean, in the day when Van Gerwen was running right in, say, 2017, he would rattle off legs in so, so quick, you didn't know whether you were on the swings or the merry-go-round. And Hetta hasn't got that tempo of throw, so you don't realise quite how good this passage of play is. But 81. I think if you looked in the dictionary under clinical, you might see a video of the way he's finished in the last three legs, because he's just simply not missing at the moment. Yeah. And halfway through the match, or after six legs of the match, he looked in trouble. The last goal was 84. Now he looks in complete and utter control. There's just been a slight error with the score here. Correction. Of Damon Hetters. I think the 3 2 1 is correct. 96. I don't mind Ivan but a while Hetter has got better and better. Unfortunately, Dirk has got worse and worse. 140. And he's 85, 85 points away now. Damon from making it two tournament 56. wins out of his last three events. And two tournament wins on the Pro Tour in 2022. Double seven. And Game it is shot. delight for Damo as he defeats Dirk van Dijvenbode. A great fight back from 4-2 down to run away with the match in the end. And the heat was on fire in the latter half of that match and gets home comprehensively in the end 8-4. Oh, it was absolutely brilliant in the back end of that match. An average of 103 and a half, a couple of maxes, 93 checkout, but his finishing at the back end of the match was clinical. Finished with 8 from 18, but most of the misses were early on. And the second half of that game, that was absolutely superb from Damon Hetter. Top class stuff from a man currently ranked 19 in the world, 19 in the world, but destined, I think, to go much higher than that.